then there are some things I have to put to you. For example, if God is independent of existence, if God is outside of existence, yet all-powerful and infinite, if you right now are using your power to watch this device, you use your power to eat your food, to walk and talk, then where does God's power end and yours begin? Or is it that you are using God's power? Then again, where does God's power end? Where does yours begin? You see, either God is not all powerful because you are using your own power, therefore that is yours, not his, or you are using God's power because you are God. No matter how you look at it, there is a limitation in this way of thinking of God as a being. The only way for God to be all powerful is if God is all power. The only way for God to be everywhere is if God is all things and the background of the things. The only way for God to be all knowing is for God to be all minds. And again, the background of the minds, the source that the mind cannot even perceive. God has to be literally everything to be all powerful, all knowing, all present. 